Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson, and today I want to show you how to create high quality vertical videos for Instagram stories using Adobe Premiere Pro. And to save you time, I've created a free set of presets for Premiere Pro that you can download down in the video description that are going to enable you to edit and export your video at the precise resolution that is required for Instagram stories. Heck, you can download those presets and you don't even need to watch the rest of this video, but I'd like you to watch, so. Stay tuned if you want to. Welcome to Adobe Premiere Pro. The first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new sequence that matches the exact resolution and frame rate as an Instagram story. So let's open up the new sequence dialog box. You can either press Control in on PC or Command in on a Mac, and that's gonna open up the new sequence dialog here. The preset that you wanna choose is DSLR 1080p 30, and then go up to settings. We need to talk about what resolution are Instagram stories. If you upload an Instagram story and then download the video file, which I uploaded this story as a clip that I filmed in 4K resolution at 24 frames per second, you'll see that Instagram is playing your video at 30 frames per second with a resolution of 480 by 852 and at a bitrate of around 3 megabits per second. Because Instagram's compression and resolution for stories is so generally awful, in all of my testing I've found that it is important to get to your video frame rate, bitrate, and resolution as close as possible to how it will look whenever it is actually playing on Instagram so that way the app and site don't have to compress your footage as much. Yes, that means that even if you shot your video at a different frame rate, like 24 or 60 frames per second, I would still export it at 30 frames per second. Instagram is gonna convert your video to this frame rate regardless, so don't worry, it should still look okay. Next, go down to frame size, and we're gonna change the horizontal frame size to 480, and the vertical frame size to 852. All of the rest of these settings can be left the same and you can go down to click save preset. We're gonna save our presets so that way you do not need to go back through and re-enter all this information every single time that you do this. Let's name this preset IG stories vertical 480 by 852, 29.97 FPS. Hit OK. You'll notice here under custom that the preset has now been saved and you can select it here under the custom folder anytime that you need to recreate the sequence again. Let's go down here to the sequence name and we're gonna call this Instagram story, whatever you wanna call it, that sounds great. Hit okay. Next, you're gonna import your footage. As you can see, I've already imported a clip that I shot with my drone last week in 4K in Colorado. And I'm gonna drag that down here to the timeline. Immediately, we're gonna get a clip mismatch warning. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you click keep existing settings because you do not want to resize the sequence to the size of the clip. We want to resize the clip to the size of the sequence. So, keep existing settings. The clip has now been imported, and as you can see, there are huge black bars at the top and the bottom of the clip. That is okay. You could actually export your video right now and upload it to your Instagram stories if you wanted to have it be wide, but that doesn't really look very good. Come on now, we want it to fill the whole screen. So, let's make some changes to it. I'm going to select the clip down here, and then I'm gonna go up to Effect Controls in the top left, and that's gonna open up the video effect controls for this clip. Do not worry, there are only three things you need to pay attention to here. First is the position. You have this number, 240, and if you click and drag left and right, you'll see that that's gonna move your clip left and right. Press Control Z to go back. Next, we have 426, which is your vertical movement up and down. So you can reposition your video clip using these two numbers. Let's bring that back to the middle there by pressing Control Z. Next, we have scale, and scale is very important because that is gonna make our video larger or smaller. You'll see because it's a 4K video, it's only 12.5% in size. We can make it significantly larger. I'd say about 40, and that's going to fill the entire window. Now I can go back up here to the position for horizontal positioning, and I can move this around. I kinda want the mountain peak up here to be in the center. Yeah, that looks pretty good like that. I think this looks really good now, and it's about ready to export. Incidentally though, if you decide, wait Matt, I want people to have to turn their phones to the side, and I want to be fully widescreen. Okay, you can do that too. Let's set all these settings back to the way that they were. 240, 426, 12.5, and then we're gonna go down here to rotation, and we're gonna rotate this video by 90. Whoop, look at that. 
It's now sideways. And you can now scale it up to, mm, let's say 24. And that fills the entire window. You could now export your video just like this too, and whenever people are holding their phones, they're then gonna have to turn them sideways. That's a lot of work. I hear people do not like doing that, but that is another option for you as well. Let's go back to the settings I had for the video to be vertical though. It is now time to export this video. First thing you need to remember is that your video needs to be 15 seconds or less. If it's longer, it's gonna be split up into multiple clips, which is okay, but remember that the maximum length for an individual Instagram story is 15 seconds. Let's go down here to the timeline. I'm gonna click once in this area, so that way it is now outlined in blue, and I'm gonna press the plus key to zoom in several times, and then let's drag the playhead over here to, mm, let's do 14.29 one frame before 15 seconds. And we're gonna just click and just drag back this clip until it is perfectly at that length. Now we have a clip that is going to perfectly fit into one Instagram story. With that down, we now need to tell Premiere which part of the video clip we want to export. Well, ideally all of it. So let's go drag our playhead to the start of the clip and press the I key. Then let's drag it to the end of the clip. If you don't wanna to have to scrub through to find it, you can press the down key and that's gonna take you directly to the end of the clip and press the O key. And now we have a nice in and out point selection for the entire clip, so Premiere knows what to export. Next, let's press Control M or Command M on the Mac to open up the Export Settings dialog box. We're gonna spend a little bit of time in here. First, for format, you're gonna wanna make sure you've selected H.264. And for preset, you can just select Match Source High Bitrate. It really doesn't matter what you select because we're gonna be completely customizing this preset. But if we start with Match Source High Bitrate, that's gonna save a little bit of time. Next, for Output Name, this is very important. You need to make sure that you click this and you need to select where you want to save your video. In my case, I've created a renders folder that is a subfolder of the main project. Title your video, then click save. We'll just call this Instagram story. Next, make sure that export video and export audio are checked and let's go down to the video tab. Because we chose match source high bit rate, many of these settings are already correct. The width is 480, the height is 852, that's great. Frame rate 29.97. All the rest of this looks good. Make sure that render at maximum depth is checked. That is gonna result in a higher quality video. Let's scroll down to encoding settings. All of these are good. Bitrate settings. Here's where we need to make some changes because remember, we want the video bitrate that we are exporting to be as close as possible to the same bitrate that's gonna be playing whenever you're playing back your video on your Instagram story. And remember, that is quite low. So we're gonna select VBR two pass and for the target bitrate, you're gonna to wanna to set that to three. And the maximum bitrate, you're going to wanna to set to four. If you want a better explanation for why I'm choosing this bitrate and settings, I would highly recommend watching my Instagram export settings video. I'll link to it up in the corner and down in the description. All the rest of these settings look good. Let's go up to the audio tab. Make sure your audio is AAC, 48,000 hertz, stereo, audio quality high, Bit rate 320 kilobits per second. In my case, because this video is just a drone clip, it doesn't actually have any music to it, I don't really need to worry about this, but if your video has audio, these are good settings for it. Almost done. Last box you need to make sure is checked is the use maximum render quality box. Make sure you check that because it's gonna result in better quality. Now let's save this video export settings preset. So you do not need to go through all of these settings every single time that you want to export a video. Go up here next to preset. We're gonna click this little down arrow that says save preset. And let's call this IG stories 480x852, 29.97 FPS. That way you can easily pick it out in a long list of export settings. Press OK, and you're gonna notice here that now under preset, it says IG stories with all the numbers. So that has now been saved and you can click it from this dropdown and select it anytime you want to export a video using this frame rate and resolution. Almost done with Premiere. Now you can click export and your video will be exported to wherever you told it to save it to, or you can click Q, which will open up Adobe Media Encoder, which will then export it in the same way. The reason you would use Adobe Media Encoder is if you wanted to continue working in Adobe Premiere and not have it tied up with rendering your video. In my case, I'm just gonna select export because this should render very quickly. Now let's talk about uploading your finished story. 
you need to get this video file that's on your computer to your phone without losing any quality. If you're on a Mac, you can just use AirDrop and it will basically work flawlessly. But if you're on a PC like me, that isn't really an option. I would recommend using a file syncing service like Dropbox or Google Drive. Both of these companies offer a free account so you won't need to pay to get your video to your phone. I personally use Google Drive, so I will show you how to use it here. First, navigate to the Google Drive website. I would recommend creating a folder called Instagram. Then drag your video file from your computer to that Google Drive folder and let it upload. Next, open the Google Drive phone app and navigate to where the file is stored. Click the three dot menu and select send a copy followed by save video. Your video is now saved to your camera roll. Now you can open Instagram, browse to your video clip and post it. Voila, and now your video is uploaded to your Instagram stories in the highest quality possible. With that, thank you so much for watching. I have a ton of other videos that I've made all about how I export videos in Adobe Premiere for the highest quality. And I will make sure to link to the playlist of them that I've created down in the video description if you want to watch any of them. It is also a huge help to me if you would consider liking this video, subscribing, and hitting the bell if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. With that, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.